Hey guys, do you remember the clipboard manager I've did, the showcase? If you've not seen it yet, you can have a look in here. Uh, there's a short video demonstrating what it does. Also, we're going to uh, dive into the tutorial right now, but if the tutorial is too quick for you, just click on the links at the end of the video for the written one. And let's get started. We're going to start obviously with going to Tasca. Now, before we do anything with this tutorial, we're going to have to create a new task and create an array that will contain number from one to nine. So create a variable, uh, clip position and split it to create an array. This numbers from one to nine will contain how many, well, how many clipboards you can put into the manager. So if you want more, considering adding more numbers. Because I don't want clipboard manager to be assigned to every single application, I've picked a few application for this tutorial, I've got Google Plus and uh, Pages. So we're gonna create a web screen and this is the configuration of it. If your swipe preset isn't there, just click on download presets and select the swipe preset. Auto Tools will download it for you and you'll be able to use it. There is also a few things that we have to change in the commands for swipes. We only need a command that is responsible for swiping left. Feel free to delete the rest of the commands. The command prefix should be set to swipe but if it isn't, uh, just make sure it's set to swipe as that's also important. I used the default layout for the swipe action. So uh, there is no changes, but just to show you the width of it is in 10. And then I've got 400 to uh, for the height and bottom right uh, for the position of the swipe action. You've noticed I've got exit task linked to this uh, profile as well. This is because when I'm exiting the uh, application, I no longer want this swipe to work. So what it does, basically same action, but then in a section called display mode, just select close and you will terminate the swipe. If you did everything correctly, uh, right now when you open uh, your selected application, you'll be um, able to see the purple, or if you change the color, a different color, but you'll be able to see the purple um, indicator that it's working. You can see it on the right hand side and I can swipe uh, through it and uh, execute the actions. Now we need to link it to the actual menu. So let's create a new profile and that's a show menu profile. The profile will respond to auto command swipe that we used previously and will create a card list. If you see the side launcher menu, the basically config is very similar. I've changed some variables. So I'm selecting a card list from the preset and then a dialog from the um, display mode. I'm going to keep the windows uh, small, so I'm heading to a window settings and setting the width of the window uh, to 100 and the height to fill the entire screen. Feel free to manipulate the different options. Also, if you prefer to have your clipboard on a different uh, side, just use the gravity to pick the correct option. In the card specific settings, I'm going to use title and just enter clip. Uh, feel free to skip it if you want to, it's just uh, for cosmetics. And then I'm gonna go to the cards uh, menus and select a few items there. So cards titles gonna be our clip uh, position, one to nine, that's gonna be in the title. Then I'm gonna use the subtext left uh, to hold clip abrev, which is abbreviated version of the clipboard. It's gonna uh, just contain like six characters or so. And then commands, it's going to be positioned from 1 to 9 as well. We're going to use these numbers we created previously. And the prefix for um, our commands is clipboard. That's pretty much it. Uh, for the layout, uh, we can control the size, which is a 90% uh, height of the selected uh, space. And the text is 5 uh, points. And then image height, I uh, clicked by mistake, so ignore this. If you set everything correctly, now we can uh, jump into our applications and uh, test it out. It should show you a very poor looking at the moment uh, sidebar with numbers from one to nine. So let's test it out. I'm going to swipe it. You will execute the command swipe, intercept the command and populate the clip with the numbers from one to nine. Those are the titles from the uh, list generated. Now I've got a small error, ignore the error because I've just cancelled the entire and side menu. So we're going back to Tasker right now and we're going to take care of the next step, which is actually collecting the information. System variable clip contains our clipboard and if that changes, we're going to use that as our context. Now to create abbreviated version, I'm going to use variable selection and limit the selection to six characters. Then both 
Uh, the shortened version, the full version, are being pushed to the array. One is clipboard array and one's a clip operated. Please note that I'm fitting a local variable from variable selection to clip upperf as uh, that variable will contain the shorter version of our clipboard that I push and the second action to the clipboard array will only contain uh, the system variable clip. Now then we have to process the both arrays and remove duplicates. This is because when our clipboard is chosen, uh, it's going to be duplicated because a new um, clipboard is set. So in order to do it, we have to check for duplicates, remove the duplicates and then squash both arrays to make them look in order again. And because I'm limiting my clipboard to nine positions, I'm going to constantly remove everything from position 10. Now you have to add if statement because otherwise it will remove constantly the last position. So I'm going to remove the 10th element from the array only if the number of elements is 10. Otherwise, I'm not going to uh, do array pop at all. Lastly, we need to set a new clipboard. We're doing that by creating a new profile that will respond to our auto apps command clipboard. That command also contains a number of what clipboard has been pressed and that corresponds to our array clipboard array. So we're going to use an action set uh, clipboard, uh, assign it to variable uh, from the array, which is a clipboard array, and then in the brackets for the number of that uh, var uh, element in the array, it's going to be AA command, so out apps command. To illustrate this, I'm going to just open it up in uh, on my website and copy something and just pay attention to the command being issued when the actual um, command is being uh, sent from the side um, side menu. So I've copied the clipboard into the clipboard. Now just gonna copy, we'll go back to the website, copy the manager and both items should be presented in the side menu. And uh, so I'm gonna go there. So now my clipboard is manager right now, but I'm gonna select the clipboard to um, paste the clipboard in and uh, watch the, uh, the clipboard equals two. That was the command I've used. And that's the element that's gonna be assigned for the clipboard. So thanks for watching guys, by now you should have a really nice clipboard manager on your phone and you know what to do with it. If you like the video, consider subscribing, hitting that like button or following, on, following me on social media, that surely helps. Right, I'll see you in the next video, take care, bye! Hey guys, do you remember the clipboard? <laughs> ah, clipboard.